I was not a fan of this. You were not a fan, but you know what? It reminds me of Oreo. Sometimes you don't need to like it as long as you recognize it. I went to try Hershey's because I was so curious. Now how it tastes, I tried it. Oh my God, like it tastes literally like sh Mr. B struggling to keep feastables in stock after introducing new chocolate forma, a store sold out national wide. Like look at look at this. I had like a million bars set aside for the website so people could try it, but I had to ship them to stores to fill the demand. demand. So oh. people went crazy. And uh, I mean, I think the rebranding is... Uh, I was not a fan of this You were not a fan, but you know what? It reminds me of Oreo. Oreo? For some reason. Yeah, yeah, it does. But you know, you immediately saw... When when you were you were taking like those uh, chocolate bars in the streamer Shows awards, Lord, yeah. you knew that it was feastables. Yeah. yeah. Immediately. Immediately Even, I showed, yeah. oh that's feastables. Yeah. So that's that's how brand it is. Sometimes you don't need to like it as long as you recognize it. I agree. You know? Yeah. Uh, it's like the crocs, right? Like this yeah. Yeah. Uh, You might not like cro crocs, but uh, you're gonna recognize them immediately. True. So the power of uh, Content creators now creating these products in, uh, like, yeah, we're saying, like, the Willy Wonka, right? Of mm -hmm. the... Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it's just, like, it's a new economy. We also have here other examples that I'm going to show you guys. We have Prime. Prime uh, is the, the brand from Logan Paul mm -hmm. and KSI, right? Mm -hmm. And they just beat G Gatorade. You know what Gatorade no. is? Gatorade is also another hydration uh, brand for... You've probably seen this. I'm I've sure, seen this, I'm yeah. sure, I've seen this. Like, yeah. this is a worldwide brand, right? And it beats freaking Gatorade on Walmart. And this is all because of the power of social media. You know, like... And people making clips, people making TikToks, people making all these... Uh, it, like they do, they just understand creators understand better the the, the macro economy mm -hmm. than brands itself nowadays. You know mm. that, that's why they can move and create products that they sell like crazy just based on that influence. Yeah. Of course, like the product has to be like good enough, good enough. Yeah. Which I feel like people were saying that, uh, uh, for example, this was the old bar, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, people were saying like the new festivals. It is a big upgrade, mm -hmm. you know, because here they were like they did a trailer. We, we can actually see watch the trailer uh, from from Mr. Beast because I thought it was a nice trailer. I think he did a, a nice job like promoting the the festivals. Uh, where where is this? It's here. Yeah, it's so it's uh, let's watch this. This is the trailer for the new festivals bar. I, I thought it was a good one. Festivals chocolate bar. And as you know, it tastes... This is my old Feastables chocolate bar. And as you know, it tastes better than a Hershey's bar. Now, I know what you're thinking. Jimmy, why are you engulfing your old Feastable bar in flames? Well, it all started about one year ago. I was in a Feastables business meeting and I realized tasting better than Hershey's wasn't so special. Doesn't everything taste better than Hershey's? Did you watch this? Like, no. literally, doesn't anything on the planet taste better than a Hershey's bar? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. To be honest, if you ever go to the States and, like, I went and I went to try Hershey's because I was so curious mm -hmm. to know how it tastes, like, American candies in general. Yeah, yeah. And I tried Hershey's. I gotta try it. Like, it's well known. I tried it. Oh my god! Like it tastes literally like shit. No, like it's such a synthetic taste of mm. chocolate. I, I, I'm also spoiled as shit because here we have like sweet chocolate, Belgian chocolate. We have like so a many good them, chocolates yeah. here in in Europe. We are blessed by it, thank God. But Hershey's, oh my god! I don't know at all how is that popular. And the only thing I can think is. Probably those were like the first chocolates that the American kids they have. Mm. So there's like some nostalgia that goes and uh, yeah. you know throws them back to whenever they were kids and they still like Hershey's. Mm. But they are so vastly superior as chocolates. You know, yeah. Yeah. 
None of you felt the need to tell me this? This looks like uh... If everything tastes better than Hershey's, what makes us special? Could you please pause this for a second? This the whole meeting thing uh -huh. as a promo reminds me of this Apple launch. They were doing oh, this. Oh, uh, the the god the, the, they brought the god the, the yeah, black lady. Yeah, yeah, it feels like that. Yeah. Yeah, well, the answer is nothing. And to be honest, myself and my entire company weren't exactly fans of that harsh truth. And so I set out to do something better. And what's better than being better than Hershey's? Well, how about being better than everyone? The best on earth. And from that day forward, we worked tirelessly. Like I'm talking barely even sleeping. I traveled from country to country, chocolate factory to chocolate factory. Tried out hundreds of formulas, which eventually led us to this. The best tasting chocolate ever made by mankind. <laughs> he knows how to build hype. But yeah. let's be honest. Yeah. Also known as our brand new Feastable Bar. This is the best tasting. I feel like, uh, you know, it's very iconic, the the, the design they went with. Mm. I think the color and the, the whole thing is very simple. V uh, I feel like it's even more appealing to kids, this color, mm -hmm. than before. The Before, the yellow one was not that good. No, no, no. There, there's multiple colors. You'll it's see. chocolate on Earth. Good job, boys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Still sugar uh, bad for, for health? Uh, uh, of course, man. <laughs> of course. Like, it's chocolates. Yeah. What, what, what are we going to lie? Uh, yeah, I would say, I can say I've tried like three or four flavors and tasted better than others. Not going to lie. They yeah. are eventually going to sell the brand for sure. They literally sell out. They don't want any legacy brand. Uh, but they prefer to cash. Uh, he's talking about the, the Prime. The, the prime. I, I mean, I never tried. I feel like energy drinks in general, they, they kind of suck. Uh, I, if the only use I had for them was to stay awake, but still, like, I get, like, big, big crashes afterwards. So, they, uh, you guys are saying that they'll probably cash in, but they, I feel like there's a, ma I saw once, like, this video that Prime is a company and Logan Paul and KSI just own, like, a small part of the company because they are like the faces out of it. They are not the big owners of the, the brand. This is something I read, uh, but I'm, I don't know if it's factual or not. Whoa, 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 whoa. How do we know that's the best taste in chocolate in the world? You're fired. <laughs> I was just gonna say that we do a blind taste test. Wait a minute. We should prove it in a blind taste test format. That's genius. <laughs> set up a random warehouse where I'm going to invite hundreds of strangers to do a blind taste test oh. on our brand new chocolate. All four of these pieces of chocolate have no branding and there's no labels distinguishing anything between them. The only thing they are voting on is taste. So now it's time to see how our new chocolate formula holds up to three of the top European chocolates. Let me see the chocolates. Uh, uh milk. Cardberry. Uh, I never had this one. Yeah. Icelandic. Icelandic chocolate. chocolate never had. Uh, lint, I, I think lint is overrated. At least this one. Uh, Feastable chocolate bar, milk chocolate. Okay. Milk, but, chocolate. I mean, milk chocolate is like, is the most, you know, oh. you know, uh -huh. likable. Yo, thank you, Red. Thank you for coming. Thank you for the follow, brother. Yeah. I like the first one the best. Of course, she picked Feastables. I'm gonna go with the first one. Yep. That has a really nice bite to it, and it's a little bit richer than the other ones. I'm not even surprised by what she's saying. Another one. I like that a lot. It's really good. <laughs> I would eat that every day. That is what an intelligent man looks like. So weird taste to him and taste it before. It reminds me of like, it's not Hershey. Hershey's not that good. Better than Hershey's. <laughs> wow. This might bankrupt Hershey's. That chocolate for sure. Another one. Back to back. They, back, they, to back. One thing that I think is funny is like the trash talk on Hershey's since the day one. I'm gonna be honest, we just keep winning. It's yeah. boring. <laughs> what? And the new bars come in seven flavors milk chocolate. Thank you. Uh, milk crunch. Yes, please. It's almond, peanut butter. <laughs> Used to be called oh, these nuts, but you know. Mr. Beast loses these nuts legal battle to the company behind uh, these nuts. <laughs> because it sounded alike and they yeah. lost the you know the you know the, I feel like that was one of the main reasons that they changed yeah they changed <laughs> and what is happening here like in a butter crunch I, I noticed like on the first editing is he wearing like lenses and uh, the with uh, whitening his teeth 
No. no. I Dark need to chocolate. make some makeup. No, it feels like they, they, they you know, uh, uh, okay, you do it in Photoshop. It feels ah. like they popped his eyes and yeah, the whitening yeah, yeah. is teeth. And dark chocolate sea salt. Thank you. The new bars yeah. are available nationwide right? at every single Walmart. Go give them a try. We genuinely put a ton of effort into these. Yeah. And if you spend your money on Feastables, I really want you to enjoy it. And starting February 17th, for a 30 day stream, we are going to be giving away $10,000 to a lucky customer who scans the QR <laughs> Mr. code on the back of any new Feastable bar. So go give the new bars a try. You might win 10 grand. And I can't wait to see what all of you think. I mean, he knows what to do, man. Yeah. Content creators' products are going to be more and more common over the years. Mm -hmm. You're going to see more companies, traditional companies, probably uh, poach content creators like they did with Prime yeah. to, to create like a new brand. Like it, they will be like, okay, we have the infrastructure, we know how to create the 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 product. You don't. We'll have all the manufacturer delivering everything, and all you have to deal uh, to deal with is like you give us your brand, you represent the, this new brand, mm -hmm. and you promote it on your content. You know, and yeah. uh, I feel like that's the partnerships that we're gonna see more and more. You know, yeah. over the years.